Let's go over some of the things that happen when we have a circle inscribed in a triangle. So here we have a triangle ABC, and we have this circle inscribed in it, and it's tangent at points D, E, and F. Okay, first of all, these tangent points are not midpoints of the sides of this triangle. Okay, AD is not the same length as DB. But something does happen where line segments are equal. If we take a look at this uh, on the side, say we have this triangle, and we have some tangent lines. What does happen is these two tangent lines are congruent to each other. So that's what happens here. We have that this line segment, which is a, a tangent line, is congruent to this one. And this line segment is congruent to this line segment, so AD is congruent to AF, and FC is congruent to EC. So if we have some of these measurements, it might be possible to find some other measurements. So if we're told that DB is 3, uh, AC is 12, let's say, and EF is 4. We could find a lot of these other ones. Alright, so if DB is 3, that means BE is 3. So this whole length is 7. Okay, this is 12, right? And we don't know how long AB is, but we know that this is 12, EC is 4, so that means FC is 4. Okay, so now, now that we have that AC is 12 and FC is 4, so let's just take a look at this. From here to here is 4, but if we continue all the way, the entire side is 12. So that means that this part, AF, must be 8. So if this is 8, and then we have 4 more, we get our full 12. And since AF is 8, we know that AD is 8. And we have the length of this side now, AB, which is 8 plus 3, 11. So once again, we have this circle inscribed in a triangle. Uh, it's going to be tangent at three points, and these tangent lines are going to be congruent to each other. So these segments will be congruent, these two segments are congruent, and these two segments are congruent.